Hey there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. What you can't see right now is that right behind me is a little white fluffy dog. Pay no attention to the white fluffy dog. <laughs> Two weeks ago I left you with a real cliffhanger. I told you that I wouldn't give you any more information about the input search options dialog box for two more weeks. Oh my goodness, were you able to sleep? I hope so. So today, I'm going to return to the input search options dialog box, oh yeah, and give you more information about it so that you can be more successful whenever you key in commands at the command line, which let's face it, we all have to do at some point in time, whether we like it or not. Am I right? Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Let's make sure we're all on the same page. And I'm going to type in LI, and I want you to see that on the right-hand side of the screen, I get a list of commands, all right? And these commands all start with LI. I also get a list of system variables and content, which we'll talk about another time. But let's just focus right now on the commands. And I want you to also notice that these commands do not show up in alphabetical order. No, you'll see that limits shows up after line type. These commands show up in the order that I more that I use them. So the more frequently used commands bubble to the top of the list. All right, something else for you to keep in mind because you can control that. Let me also show you that if I type in a command called like plan, for example, it doesn't just show me the commands that start with plan, but it also shows me those commands that have the word plan anywhere in it. For example, section plane or X plan, that's called a mid string search. Okay, all right, so this is autocomplete where when I type in any characters, it auto completes it and the other is a mid-string search. Let's make sure we're all on the same page. All right, so I'm gonna go back into the input search options dialog box. Thank heavens for autocomplete because I don't have to type in that whole thing and it's not in the ribbon anywhere. And it's told you it's kind of a top secret command that you probably didn't even know about until two weeks ago. Most people don't know about it. And we uh, last week we talked all about searching for content or last tip we talked all about searching for content. Let's look at the upper left-hand corner of the screen where we have the option to enable autocomplete. That's what I was just showing you, right? Those other options that appear when you start to type in characters at the command line. And we also probably want to enable that midstream search. I showed you that. And then there was also this option where you could have it sort according to the frequency of usage. That's the way I have it. That's the default. So the more frequently used commands bubble to the top, as I mentioned. But for those of you who prefer your commands alphabetized, no problem, you can switch it to alphabetically. You know who you are, all right? You're probably incredibly organized if you want to switch it to alphabetically. All right, so let me show you what happens if you turn off enable autocomplete. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to say an OK. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to type in LA. Wow, lots of options for me. All it does really is give me the alias of list. That's not very exciting. That's awful. And then if I try to go back into my input <laughs> search options, oh my God, it takes forever before it shows up. That's so painful. And then it didn't like that at all because I didn't type in enough. Autocomplete saves you lots of time, am I right? So let me just go ahead and arrow back to get back to that command. When you turn off autocomplete, I hope you get paid by the hour because you're going to have to do a lot more work. So I'm going to turn enable autocomplete back on because that's very, very important. All right, so there's a little, still more to this dialogue box, but we've run out of time on this tip. Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna hold you off for another two weeks. Are you gonna be able to take it? All right, sleeping pills, you'll be able to make it. <laughs> All right, so those, that's a very important aspect to working at the command line is just autocomplete. Make sure you have it turned on. Maybe some of you might want to change it to alphabetically. Other than that, I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. We're going to show you some other key parts of the input search options dialog box. Another cliffhanger. Oh, yeah. <laughs>